What's up, y'all? I hope you've had an amazing day so far. You've had a pretty great day. Just pulling up everything so that I can see what you guys can see. In fact, let me turn a light on so that there's no weird shadow. So, pop out. What's up, you guys? What's up, what's up? All right. So, today, thank you, Heidi. What's up, S.A. Doc? Official? Tanzania, that's fun. Denise, Tracy, Shane, Heidi, JJ, Maureen. Thank you guys for coming in and seeing what I'm painting today. I have been thinking about um, alcohol inks since I did JJ's, ele nope, Shane's Elephants. And I really want to try to figure out that rocking look with the inks letting them flow like this and then I want to create water so I have a reflection so then I'm going to rock the inks this way hopefully it won't get muddy we will see we'll find out together Phoenix Julie welcome haven't seen you live in so long well where have you been hope things are okay I'm gonna put some paper towels under the back side and the front side of this board because I'm going to probably make a mess. So this is just gonna prevent too much mess from getting on the floor, I don't know. I tend to use a whole bunch of alcohol when I do inks and it tends to go everywhere. Hello, Bowman. I won't tell anybody that you're watching while you're at work. So the camera is trying to uh, autofocus because everything's white right now. As soon as I get some color down, it will stop that. So I'm going to be using my typical go-to palette of a teal, a pink, and a yellow. So I'm going to use turquoise from Ranger. If I can get it open, cool. Got it. I'm going to use fuchsia from Copic. I'm going to use Blick yellow, uh, canary yellow, and probably sailboat blue by Ranger. So that'll be the only palette um, except for jacquard black, but that'll be later. Please do. Oh, I'm sorry, Julie. I just went through that and I can't even imagine. Well, I can't imagine because I just went through it, but I'm sorry. I still carry Cujo with me, my little heart. Okay, so if you're new here, welcome. I'm Erica, Jeff is over there playing with Bowie and we're artists till death. We go live every day, usually, uh, usually at 6 p.m. Central, except for on Tuesdays it's at 2 p.m. Central. And uh, it's usually resin. Sometimes it's alcohol ink, sometimes it's acrylic, sometimes it's glitter. You never know, but today it's alcohol ink and um, it's always art. So welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you're already subscribed, can you just double check and make sure because YouTube likes to unsub people because rude. Hello, Tim, Claire, and Melissa. So I'm just going to, 
I think I'm going to have kind of a lower, like, water. I'm going to have my water-ish area here. So I'm just going to put some ink down just a little bit sporadically. And this is going to make my skyline. You can add more color later. I know this looks really crazy right now, but y'all just hear me out. All right, now I'm gonna take some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And just like run a line all the way across the bottom of those inks. And I'm gonna just rock them back and forth to make them run. Once they get all the way up there, I'm going to let them run back this way. I do love to wiggle draw. I didn't know that's what it was called. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I could This could be a finish all on its own. A crazy EKG, right? So as it's rolling off, I'm kind of turning the board a little bit extra forward so that not too much is gathering on this top edge. I don't want it to pool. Glad I have this. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of heat, very low heat. Just to help it start to dry. I don't want to do too much craziness to it. Because I want the lines of color to stay kind of true. And actually, do I feel like I need more pink over here or should I leave it? I think I should leave it actually. TG, you be careful. I just flipped it all the way around, so it kind of made all of my inks that were up here shift. Hello, Megan. So, yeah. I'm going to dry this just slightly. I'm trying to dry it as the inks are kind of running down to give like a difference in peaks kind of. I don't know if that makes sense. In my head, it makes super sense. But I like the, this business. And if you don't like that, then just let everything run off. Hey, Amy, how are you? Love seeing old and new fam coming in. Makes my heart happy. If you don't like these breaks where the ink just didn't hit, then you can wash it with more uh, alcohol ink and rock it back up and forth again. And just make sure that you put the alcohol in that area and it will uh, dry up a bit. It'll cover that part. Whoa! 
I just wanted to show Jeff my, it could be a finish all on its own. Okay. Hey, Sam, how are you? Amy, I'm glad you're doing well. So. Hey, Nancy. So, I want to keep this part as the top and this part will be the water in my head I'm gonna put more alcohol down and rock this part back and forth and that's gonna make the reflection if that's if, it, if that just doesn't happen how I want it to then I'll just wipe that whole bit off in theory in my head uh, I'm gonna try not to let it splash Go back and forth. So I'm sorry, Melissa. Hope everybody feels better soon. So I wanted a little bit more color payoff in that. Part. So I'm just going to drop some more color in the areas that they kind of already are. I'm hoping I just, I'm not about to make muddy waters. <laughs> Badoonch. Well, good luck on your exam, Amy. Yep, I think I like that a lot better. I'm a fan of all of the colors, as you guys know. And you can um, just start hitting it with air to dry it. But I really want it to just kind of do what it's going to do. I don't want to make it do too much just yet. Gonna turn it up like this, let some of the color run. Now that it's not really flowing much anymore, I'm going to start to dry it. I don't really want to create any hard lines in this part. So... I'm kind of drying it from further in the air. Also, I did just drop my alcohol. That's fine.
It's 91% alcohol, so it'll dry relatively quickly. Well, I'm glad I can help you to relax. And we're dry. So now I'm not happy with this right here, but I like it better than what the alternative would be if I tried to go in and mess with it. Um, the base is a, it's just an ultra smooth gesso panel. I think it's from Da Vinci. You can get it from Blick. I think this one Clara had brought over a while back. Okay. Now for the skyline. I'm going to use the Dallas skyline. Everybody watching obviously use whatever it is that your sky looks like. So our skyline has a lot going on. If you guys have never seen our skyline, let me just say it's pretty awesome. I'm going to use some Posca pens. Um, you can get these on Amazon. I have a link down in the description below this video. And um, be careful because there are knockoff Poscas. This is a knockoff. It has not English writing on it. Um, they're almost the same. The quality and the actual Poscas are just slightly better. But if you end up with the ones that are knockoffs, it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and seal this. It is a Da Vinci panel that you left behind. Mwahaha. So I'm going to seal it with UV Archival in matte. This is very important for a couple reasons. If you aren't going to put resin on your piece, this will seal it in and protect it from anything messing with the design or from fading. And if you're going to put resin on it, um, you really should seal it as well so that the resin doesn't kind of soften your lines and everything. Um, also, make sure you get it in matte because the alternatives will wake up your inks and move them. I'm surprised the blue had stained and none of the other ones did. Thank you, Clara. So I'm just drying that matte spray that we just put down. Because it's matte, I can see where it is easier than if it was a gloss. When a gloss is dry, it looks like exactly what it did when it was wet. But when a matte is dry, it's not. There's no more shiny. Okay. Now for Skyline stuff. We have a couple interesting buildings here. We've got a Bank of America building, which is green. So I'm just going to put it here. This is not in any kind of exact order. Um, because... I wouldn't be able to get all the awesome buildings in where their colors are if I did them exactly. I like to bow my buildings just a little bit. If you want to do something a little bit more exact, then by all means, go for it.
This building has a little topper. And then we've got, we'll just put some other buildings. Just to make it look more of a skyline. I'm sorry, Bowie. Let me help you back into your chair. Come back. Come up. Cool World. I heart that movie so much. So we've got like a diamond shaped building. Go in and fix that one. We've got Reunion Tower, which is a big orb. And another one that has like these peaked light towers on top of them. And there's crisscrossy lights all the way down. So now all of the major ones are there. So you just need to fill in. Oh, I didn't do the keyhole building. I can't remember what this one looks like. Hold on. Let me pull this up because I cannot remember. Okay. All right, you guys, hold on one second. I'm trying to find. Just a, a simple image of the this keyhole building.
Look something like that. So let's fill in some of these. Sorry about the ruckus, my windows are open. All right, now I'm going to give some of them a little bit more character with a thicker Posca pen. Learn this trick from Jeff. And it's pretty nifty. Hi, Gail, how are you? I'm a sucker for a dry brush look, so that's kind of why I love this particular style of um, I don't even know the words, but You know what I mean. Swish, we could do swish. Mm. In my head, I wanted to do some rough pen lines, but I need a um, a better pen. I'm gonna give myself like three seconds to find a pen that I would use to do what I want to do. Maybe these microns will work. Oh, a chisel one. These like extra pen lines are so <laughs> typically when people draw something, they will sketch it out first. So these 
kind of sketchy lines would, would already be there. However, um, I'm apparently backwards because I tend to draw out first. Nope, I tend to draw out second. I put my shapes down and then I want to add this kind of detail. It's just a look that I like to utilize, but if you want a cleaner look, by all means, be clean. We're going to garden right now because I'm live. That's cool. Thanks, people. I'm going to close this window. I was going to yell get off my lawn to them, but I'm there right there. It would have been awkward because it's uh, not my lawn. Anyway. Loving it so far. Now I need to decide, am I going to do like some bush work here to create a separation. How do I want to do this? I know a lot of places, like a lot of artists do like foliage to create the separation. Was I Ritterhoff in it? Sorry about that. P.S. Go check out Anne-Marie Ritterhoff. She's amazing. Love her. So, oh, now you want back in your chair. What do you guys that create a road? Um... I would, except for the best row that I could possibly add to this, it's too late. It would be, there's a bridge, a yellow brick road. I love me a yellow brick road, but I just don't know if it will work on this one. Then I'd have to add hills. There's a bridge in Dallas that um, I would love to add, but it's, it wouldn't work. So, and besides, this is water, remember? Thank you, George Ray. I mean, I'm going to stick to the plan, but I need to figure out if I want to create foliage or... just let it be and create a reflection based on this. Thank you, Phoenix Flow Art. I appreciate that. A fence. So if I did a fence, it would be super tall for you to be able to see it.
reflection line wonky, of course. So do I want to like scribble? Because if I do black ink, it's going to most definitely bleed. And probably not be the cutest thing. May have to call Jeff in. I do that from time to time. Well, thanks, Shane. I hope your meeting went well. Pour from the heart. I really appreciate that super much. Um. Jeff has the best eye for details, and I've learned a lot over the years watching him create. I, his mind is absolutely brilliant, but I appreciate your saying that. Borderline around the sphere? A borderline? What kind? Oh, well, thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. B, can I borrow your face? Well, Sam, since you're a Dallas person, it's kind of... You already have a great skyline to work off of. That's super fun, babe. Thanks! Now that I have to figure good. out my bottom half of this. Because every skyline reflection has like foliage bushes. But then now I have to do um, the black reflection, I feel like. So yeah, I um, appreciate that, George Ray. Because in my head, I was just gonna be like, but I don't wanna mess, no one to quit is kind of where I'm at. But I want it to like, yeah, how come you did it like this? Sandra? Um, the reason why there's that is the reason why that's like that. Black. The thing is, just imagine taking this and then just flipping it. Like, don't start dark down here. Start kind of a line and then black down here. And then with that, start that on top of that and then do a line and then do some. You, you see what I mean? I understand what you're talking about. I don't know if you guys can hear him talking about things being mirrored in reflection. And so don't start with the dark right here since it's not dark right here on this part. It should well, be lighter on this part. Is just take one of these pieces of paper, trace what you have, and then just flip it so you can mentally see, you know, what you what you should do. And then that way you can have it up here and just kind of, you understand? Yeah. I think that would work. I think. You would have to flip it over and then put it up here so you can see which way to draw it. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want it that literal of a reflection. Can you resin over Mod Podge? I don't see why not. Just make sure it's completely dry. Um, C, 
So yeah. Need your help. I don't think you need help. You're doing amazing. You see, they have that little separation. And basically, that's just that's how they have these boats, just kind of a foreground to, to give the illusion that there's something else out there. And it, that's where it stops, and it's a little bit more focused. But. So Jeff and I are looking at a, a reference photo just for reflection on an abstract skyline. Um, but in the reference photo, the colors would have continued instead of doing what I did here because it looks a little bit more like it's on a cloud now which is fine hi Diana so now I'm trying to talk my way through not messing this up doing what I want to do I'm trying to do it um, not recognized, just to feel for reflect. Well, then do that. Just, just do, just do abstract line. A little separation. You know, mm -hmm. just a little, and then maybe maybe put uh, line this part, and then just kind of do the same thing down here, and then start it there, and just do a, you know. You can always paint over it. If you don't like it, you can always paint over it. Thank you, Dr. Resin. I would definitely put stuff here and because I'm not sure why you outline that so hard. Like because none of these have that. You understand? Like I would definitely go here. Like Yeah. Is that what you said you wanted? I forgot what this building looked like, to be honest. I had to pull up a different kind of reference. Anyways. Someone's going to be focused on this building. Yeah, Shane, Jeff mentioned that too. Put a piece of paper down and sketch it to see if you'd like it. But I'm thinking of doing just very rough. It's like pointed. Right. I mean, that's all you. That's all you're needing is because water is ripply and mm -hmm. you're not. You don't want any detail. Mm -mm. So I'm just thinking of. My concern really at this point is because I didn't think about it in advance is now everything's flowed. And when I do black, it's going to be exactly against how the water is. So now I'm like, do I just do lines that aren't connected? Like just this? I mean, try it and if you don't like it, just add it. So, I'm just using a pencil to get my thought down. And I'm glad Jeff came over here because he mentioned something pretty important that I would have forgotten is that you need to have a separation between your main piece and your reflection so that it doesn't get lost. So just a little bit of a white line.
I'm just using a charcoal pencil, so it's going to be on the darker side. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm using a pencil, so it's kind of on the darker side, but one that I can erase. Sorry about that. Is it still frozen? I don't think so. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this pigment graphic. That's not gonna be quite dark enough, is it? So let me show you the kind of a skyline that I was looking at. Just as a point of reference, I've turned the light off. So the skyline is rather defined, but the reflection isn't. So it's kind of what I'm interested in, but I wasn't looking at this when I did my inks because this is a reflection of each side, obviously. So where it's peach here, it is peach here. Where it is teal and yellow, it is teal and yellow. So with the reflection running long ways, because reflection, how can I make that happen here aside from putting more inks here and letting it run down. Which, if that's what I need to do, then that's what I need to do. Sometimes you just have to work through what you're thinking as you go. I find I do that quite often. I wanna make sure you guys can see still. Cool. I don't know why that is wiggling like that. Weird. Run a line of black in your alcohol ink and do your drips like you did around the outlines of the figures. Well, sure. But I'm trying to figure out if before I do that, if I should make my water horizontal again. I mean, vertical instead of the horizontal look. What do you guys think? Because I have my black alcohol ink here, ready to go. Hi, Lisa, no worries. I appreciate it and I hope you have an awesome day. Right now I'm wondering if I should put an alcohol line here and run it downward. How about a slightly darker marker of the shade of the sky over the horizontal look? So do a darker median line here, you think, Shane? And Clara, are you talking about making it vertical? 
because I can make it vertical. It is not a problem. You know, when you're doing your artwork, don't ever stress out if something isn't going how you think it should be because it's just not that big a deal. Everything is fixable. Let me move all my pens so they don't get inked. Sorry, Bobo. My goodness. I'm just dropping all of them. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Joy Dre. Um, I assume that you're, or you're not an artist or you are. You got pink, some blue, yellow. I'm putting more color down instead of just adding a whole bunch of alcohol because we did already seal it a bit. Right. So I just have some alcohol in this needle nosed. Applicator. I'm just running along. This area so I can control it a little bit more. But then once it starts flowing. And do some of that. All right. Gotta be careful it doesn't run too far up into the piece. And I have a big paintbrush here. So I can get rid of some of these breaks in color. You just want to break that surface tension so your inks can fill those in. Just make sure you watch where your inks are going because they will flow up into your first bit if you're not careful. I feel like there's a lot of yellow in this piece, even though I just put more yellow on it. Here's my aqua. Not an artist just interested? I bet you could do it.
I think I like this look because it's got these like stringy points. So it's not exactly the same as the top half. It's softer on the top. So I'm happy about that. So I will be adding black to this bottom bit. I just have to get this all dry first. Oh yeah, I'm big on bold, bright colors, George. So if you look at anything on my channel that uh, isn't a commission that I just decided to paint, it's always going to be a palette probably similar to this one. keep rolling the piece forward so that I'm picking up the ink that is still falling down because I don't want to create a pool on the bottom of a color well it's going to turn into a muddy mess so I'm just trying to rock that off so you see these little tie-dye lines I have here That's the color I was trying to pick up because it almost started to do it down here. You can see where there's a little bit of differentiation. So it's trying to avoid too much of that. Is your husband an artist as well? And if so, does he have a channel? Um, he's on this channel and he is an artist as well. He does portraits, a lot of airbrush uh, I do inks, I do a lot of resin, and he does um, Pokemon fan art and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll, if you've got time, George Ray, stick around and I'll show you a little bit more um, of the other art that we do, if you've got time. Okay, so now we have some this. Um... Knowing that when I put black alcohol ink down, it's going to kind of spread out a little bit. I'm going to do that because I think it'll give it like an or a little bit more of an organic look. Maybe is what I'm going for. Let me just get these, these inks out of the way. What's up, El Spicy? How are you doing today? Okay, so I have my black ink by Jacquard. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use um, like a longer oval brush, but still quite smaller one. Um, this is just 91% alcohol. And I'm going to drop some of the black ink in here. I'm going to start with kind of a shaded gray. So I'm diluting it with a little bit more alcohol. And all right. I'm going to try not to Ritterhoff it, but y'all let me know if my crazy hair gets in the way. Peach. All right, got to leave a little bit of a separation. Oh my goodness, why am I so nervous? In fact, I'm just going to just kind of paint on here where I want the buildings to go. I bet if I dripped it, it would look even better. Do I have another? I can just use a pipette. It's not going to give me a lot of control, but it's fine.
I'm just tilting it just barely. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to like that. Y'all mm. don't stress out. If it doesn't look like we want it to, then I'll just start over. Maybe I'll just do it with a big flat brush. Can you do sort of swipe with inks? Um, I'm gonna kind of try that with this just fatter brush. So if you've never worked with inks before where it's already been, it's kind of, it's giving kind of a relief look because it's, the alcohol's been sitting for a little while. So it's picking up. So you're seeing kind of a little bit of variance in the, the black tones, but I'll just keep going over it until it looks more like what I'm going for. I'm trying to go where the longer buildings are. Kind of doing more than less where the shorter buildings are. And it's an abstract piece, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think a lot of people get really hung up on things being perfect when it doesn't really have to be. Like, if you don't live in Dallas, you odds are probably wouldn't know that this is a Dallas skyline building. And that's perfectly fine, you know? So this bottom that is a little bit darker than I would have liked it to be, however, it's okay. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to add color to my reflection since it is a little bit on the darker side.
What do you guys think? Awesome. We'll fill that one in later. So I'm still trying to think of your swipe idea. That would probably not really work like I think you're thinking of it. Do you believe you were born an artist or is there a bit of an artist in everyone? I believe for real that uh, there's a bit of an artist in everyone. I think that art is just expressing yourself visually or vocally. Um, I don't know that it's so much. I think... I think there's a little bit of an artist in everyone. I think the level of artist you are comes down to how much time you put into your craft as well as a born talent for something. I think anyone could be an artist, but the type of artist that you could do a lot of times comes down to uh, a gift that you may have been born with. Like, singing, for example, uh, I believe that's something with coaching, you can learn a little bit, but you'll, there are people that were born with it that you can't learn that level of skill, no matter your practice. I hope that makes sense. Like my fiance is an airbrush artist and I could learn to airbrush, but I don't think I could learn to be as good of an airbrush artist as he is. If that makes sense. All right. Um, I'm going to let this live for a little bit, figure out what I want to do. I'll probably brush some color back into the reflection. And then I need to find out what I'm going to do with this break. But I wanted to show some of our new people stuff. That's a Bowie. And he's precious. Hi, big boy. Hi, Popo. I guess I could turn this light off. Hi, my big boy. Hi, big boy. Did I wake you up from your nap? I'm sorry. Okay. So I do a lot of geodes, a lot of oceans. This stuff has to be shipped. Um, this is epoxy. This is a fiance. Hello. Um, he did our sign up there. We have art everywhere. Yeah, that's Bowie. He's a sweetheart. He's my little guy. So here's a little bit of our gallery, our entryway. When you first come into our place, um, let me find some of his work he does. Star Wars pieces. This is some of his airbrush. He used to paint car hoods. He's done a lot. Hi there, big boy. Hi there. That's our little baby Bowie. Um, so yeah, and then he did this for client slash friend out in Hawaii. One. You just ship out. We do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of different types of art. Stormtroopers. One of our lit pieces. Hi, 
Hi, little Lulu. How are you? But yeah, that's one he's working on. He's still working on that one. Then I have a lot of artwork from some of my lovely subscribers and friends. And then this is our art shop. All of the paints from all of the places, all of the time. So, I also do a lot of stone work. That doesn't sound right, but. I put crystals on things. So Bowie hangs out in front of his fans. We have a number of them. It is very busy. I need to um, need to do some organizing, but that will have to come after. everything else. I feel like I need to put some color back into this. I don't know if it's going to do what I want it to do though. kind of pushing some of my, um, some of the black back down. I'm organized. I appreciate that compliment. I don't know that I've ever been um, accused of being organized. My mom would love that compliment. So thank you very much. Bye, Sue. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day tomorrow. So I'm just going to kind of, if you guys have time to stick around with me, just kind of work some of this, the black back down. I went to ham with the black ink, so I'm pushing it back down with some color. I was going to suggest you do this. Like, that's great. I like that. Okay. So, you didn't do lines? You actually did this? I did. So, I'm just working it back down now. Putting more pinks where the pink is. Because oh. you know it's alcohol ink. It's not. It's not permanent until you alcohol? really feel it. The black is alcohol ink. Try, try to do. Um, yeah. Well, here. It's out here. Yeah. 
What's happening? Am I moving stuff? Well, I just wanted to try something on. Yeah, go for it. Well, how big of a brush? Do you want me to tilt this at all? I'm just going to try to... So that doesn't come off as so you guys, Jeff is. Attempting to soften my shadows. I don't know, it's just it's very When you work with inks, you just have to remember that it's going to pick up before it deposits color. It's going to relief it. Yeah. Were you planning on doing this to this? Or you, this is what you... This is not what I had envisioned. This is closer to it. I was just about to suggest... It, what if you did that a little bit with a colored ink, too? Lulu, well, that sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, I think, I think the ability to create art spans a lot of um, fields. I think architects are artists. I think hairdressers are artists. I think maybe do blue and then I like your version better. It's softer. I thought you were gonna like pour well, maybe, it. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could do that. Like, do you move these? I think that it's gonna look okay. Chefs, for mm -hmm. sure. I thought about that, then I thought I should exhaust this idea first. I thought about, okay, so I don't know if you guys could hear that. If you want, just, just pour clear in the clear spots and then just tilt it. So that it all just fades. That's if, if you want. I don't know. And then, and then just put your color back up there and do it. I don't know. Nail techs, for sure, for sure. My dad was an executive chef for a while. So I'm just putting some 91% isopropyl alcohol into this little ketchup squirty bottle so that I have a little bit more control. Um, Jeff said, 
Why don't you? Okay, I didn't close that, so that's everywhere. That's exciting. Um, I think I'm going to try to do a little bit of what you were doing in those areas because. Well, that black's just going to muddy everything, so I, I would just try to get rid of some of it. Well, I'm trying to release it. I'm trying to pick some of it up. So now. Because isn't that what you were talking about? Like that? Very much, but it's not. Maybe I'll do that. And then maybe come in with your regular, and then just doing like a, or just a, a hint to take it out, the light, I don't know. When you say regular. It's like a clear, just this. And then, I don't know because you're not, you're not trying to make it obviously exact. So, I don't know, I'm not good with abstract stuff. I just want to see what it'll do. I can always put that painfully dark business back in there. I'm just trying to soften these. they answer you? So as I'm doing this, I'm trying to pick up, again, the little bit of extra that's coming down so it doesn't do what it did right here. See how it kind of bled outward? I'm trying to keep that from happening as I go. It was a bejeweled um, a crystal Pokemon. Auburn. Ew. Um bus drivers because I can be very colorful in my language um, I believe I believe you Chris for sure um, I actually have a few stone figures bow mama okay I like how this looks a little bit better so I'm going to continue that on but you guys can't see it because of the angle so that is more like what I had in mind this long fade so I'm going to attempt to do a bit more of that. And then we'll have it. So, but like I was telling Jeff, I want to pull out a little bit more of the black so it's not quite as solid. So I'm going to wet this paper towel with some alcohol. Just pick up some of it. Not all of it. Just a bit. So that when I do this dance move again, it isn't quite so dark. Yeah. I just want to make sure I don't have any real hard stops because that'll show. All right. I think also I'm going to try to put some color 
I don't know if it'll do anything, but can't hurt, right? Right. Your son bought the Pokemon Oreos the other day and wants you to put some in resin. I think you should. I would avoid using casting epoxy because that will yellow uh, super fast. Sweet. Also, trying to pick up all this that's flowing. Hope I didn't take too much of the black out. I may have. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's put this a little bit less of an incline. Also a little bit more than that. There's somehow a hair. I'm going to have to work my way down because it's going to always give me this part where the two inks are kind of matching back up. And I don't really want to have a seam. I don't know any other way to avoid that other than keeping everything fluid all the way down. I guess I could try to paint it out, but I don't think that it's even going to work that way either. I'm just kind of experimenting with you guys on the video. I hope that is okay. I'm glad you're enjoying it, George. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Um, you've admired potters. I actually do the ceramics. All right, so we're gonna have to do this all in one go so that we don't have these breaks of color. So I'm going to put some alcohol on my this and just pick up some of the dark color that we have already put down. Just a little bit. Yeah, glass blowers are amazingly talented for sure. I don't think I have that much tolerance for uh, being uncomfortable. That's a lot of heat. No, it doesn't look like much in this moment, but it's going to be amazing now that I have a real, uh, I guess, concept in my head for what I'm trying to do. Of course it is, Vamp. I have watched that show on Netflix. And it is bananas. Okay. So I like the little bits of color we worked in on this side. So I'm going to just do that over here. Just adding the color where it already essentially is. 
we're going to have to redo some of this bit. So I'm doing color all the way across. I like the texture of candy corn. What, what? Why are we talking about candy corn? I'm confused. Okay. Here we go. I'm just using this colored water that we made up a little bit ago. Not water. Oh, it would not be water. Don't put water in your alcohol inks. This is gonna work out, you guys. Just, just hear me out. Just need a paintbrush to break up. Well, this has black on it, so. So everything is still very, very fluid. I wouldn't try to do this if it wasn't still so fluid. Whoops, I just transferred a whole bunch of pink where the yellow is, but that's fine. All those bits that had a break in color will fill in now. Seems as though we've gotten rid of a lot of the black that we had. That's okay. It's probably gonna be stupid, but While everything is super fluid, there's a lot of alcohol still on the surface. I'm trying to mentally take notes for the next time I do this. Tilt it up just a little bit. And add drips of the black ink in the areas that are just taller buildings. I 
And as you guys have seen, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always add ink back and start over. I think a lot of people hesitate when they do art because they think, I don't want to mess it up. I mean, especially if it's something you're doing for the first time, odds of messing it up are greater than if you've been doing it for a while. There's always something that can be done to fix it. I'm just trying to soften these edges just a little bit. George Vamp had um, this various form of COVID for a little bit, and she's been on the mend for a little while, and we are so glad that she's feeling better as well. Waited a little bit too long to do this down here. Now it's dried on me a little bit. So it's picking up the ink instead of just moving it. So it's lighter than this top half, but I'm trying to decide if I want to fiddle with it too much more, you know? I feel like I still need to do something to it. So I've done the other way a couple times and it hasn't really worked out for me. So I'm going to do a lot of what I've already been doing, but from the opposite side and see if that gives me a different look that I'm more uh, happy about. Excited about. And then I'll dismiss class because y'all probably have other stuff to do today other than watch me redo the same area on a piece 15 times. No, but you're not. Who you knows? If you do a reverse like this, be careful because you want it to flow down, but not obviously into the rest of your piece. I'm just going to help this to flow. Just moving the alcohol up to where my shoreline is.
Okay, 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 okay. I can deal with this. But I also feel like I need to put some black back into the top of it. I have some here. Black's kind of a difficult color to work with because you never know really how much, well, for me anyways, how much is too much. All right, so I'm going to just try to dry this. A little bit some indirect heat from a heat gun this table's a little bit slanted away from me so as um, the inks kind of dry they're gonna continue to roll back towards the far end of my desk. And that's fine because it'll create a really nice dark line. It may end up looking a little bit like an infinity line because I'm, as I'm drying it and it's pushing back and rolling back in, it's creating a lot of layers. So this actually might be the best solution to the problem I've been having. And I really like this wispy, almost yellow brick roady type of movement that we have going on. Yellow brick roadie. We make that a thing. We're gonna make it a thing. And because I've been pushing and pulling all the black alcohol ink through this piece. The bottom half is darker than the top half, which kind of makes sense anyways. White tips above the black. Are you talking about in the separation or up here? Happy with this version. It's softer. That was the softest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm engaged to my B and he's with me lunch.
Um, sometimes I just let the ink sit and evaporate on its own. But I want you guys to see it before that point. So I'm trying to dry it a little bit faster. Very indirect heat so that we don't get too many of these drawing lines like this one right here. So thank you, Teresa. Yeah, this one took me a few attempts. And not an expert at alcohol ink by any means. And sometimes it just takes a few tries to get something looking like you want it to. But you just kind of have to trust the process, I think. So, I don't know why it's getting a little gritty, but I think I like the texture that it is. I'll give you guys a close-up in just a second. It's almost done drying. I don't know if it makes sense for a reflection, for water, for what I'm doing, but I like the look of it, so I'm going gonna, gonna to let it live. When you use a heat gun like this, especially if it has a concentrator nozzle on it, like this one, make sure you don't leave your heat gun in one place for too long because you'll you could damage your your board. That looks blurry and like ethereal and reflectiony, I think. Happy with it. I agree there needs to be a white separation. I am scared of using white uh, ink. It's, I think to this day, never done what I needed it to do. So I have a white paint pen. See if Jeff feels like putting a highlight down for me. So let this video be a lesson to you guys on not giving up really quickly when things don't go exactly how you think you feel like you want them to. And trying a whole bunch of different things. I mean, I think I tried the same thing four different times during this video, but ultimately I feel like it worked out. I could be wrong. Y'all let me know in the comments. I have a white Costco pen. I have white alcohol ink, but it, mm. nervous. But I did pull out a white Posca pen earlier. And this is a like paintbrush type bristle pen. Can you do me a favor real quick because uh, you do it better and it's faster? I just need a little bit of a highlight separation, don't I? Between Spray this. No. Um, you know how this has a little bit of a separation? I already sprayed the top half of it. Yeah, the smell is not fun.
Definitely does have a cool world vibe. Just here. Wherever you think would look Sorry. good. Do you want a different kind of Posca? So Jeff's just creating a highlight that'll separate the the dark connection where the um, the base of the buildings meets the trees and the water. Give it like smog. Our pleasure, George. Welcome and thank you for watching. The Posca pins are water-based, so if I wanted to lighten this up, I would have to use something water-based. So just keep that in mind when you're using Posca with alcohol inks, because water and alcohol typically don't mix too well. Yeah, George and Shar, thank you for watching and hanging out with us today. Hope you enjoyed it, learned something, was inspired, or entertained, or educated in some way about the kind of art that we do. We love seeing new faces. If you enjoyed the video, please share it. If you didn't, then, you know, share it with someone you don't like ruin their day, make yours better, right? I think. So I'm just pulling up some of the white that we put down into the buildings so that it's there and it's stark, but it's not too like distracting. Might add some glow paint to this later. Most of the skylines I end up doing have some glowy aspect to them because skyline. So yeah, happy with this piece. I hope you guys are too. I like it. I probably should add some highlight into the buildings, but 
save that for another day. I'm hungry and just cooked lunch. So thank you guys for watching and seeing what we're up to today. Please be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember. <laughs> I don't like it when they, it's always in my face. Okay. Hold it right here. Uh, we do the test. So you don't have to. Yes. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central. Bye.